There's this evil book, and in medieval times, it disappears somewhere none can tell. It speaks of evil things that possess human beings if anybody speaks the evil spell. But anyway, fast forward to today, it's Ash and Linda in an Oldsmobile. Ash knows an empty shack that's in the woods way back as a romantic trip that seems ideal. She's got a lovely necklace, but they both get reckless when they find a tape deck and press play. It's some historian who found that book again, reading out loud the spells you shouldn't say. So the things get into Ash's girlfriend Linda, she attacks and he chops off her head. With shovel tools and vice, he has to kill her twice. I guess that's why they're called the Evil Dead. For Ash's next big mess, his hand becomes possessed, and it keeps laughing, though it's unclear how. But he fights back and stabs it, sees a chainsaw, grabs it, chops it off, and yells, Who's laughing now? Meanwhile, at lambs to slaughter, the historian's daughter, Annie, and her research partner, Ed, take Jake and Bobby Joe, as to the shack they go to bring more pages from the Book of the Dead. But Annie's folks are gone, and Annie guesses wrong that Ash killed them, though he tries to tell her. But he seems so insane, they won't let him explain. They beat him up and throw him in the cellar. But while they play the tape, Ash struggles to escape, because Annie's mom is down there as a demon. As her mom Henrietta grows eviler and deader, they all now understand why Ash is screaming. But just as Ash is rescued, Ed's the person next who gets possessed and chopped up violently. And Bobby Joe runs off and foolishly gets lost and then gets murdered by an evil tree. Annie's new paid is tell how to defeat the spell, but Annie's paid is all get grabbed by by Jake. He throws them in the cellar down with that evil dweller, which seems to be a terrible mistake, and bad turns worser when Ash is possessed again, and in the battle Jake is stabbed and dies. There's only doom and death, now Annie's all that's left as Ash approaches with his evil eyes. But hey, what the heck? It's Linda's lovely necklace. When Ash sees it, he returns to human. With a mighty scream and love beats Ash's demon, he's reborn as a heroic new man. Next on the to-do list, strap chainsaw to his wrist and a holster and a groovy shotgun. Ash heads to that basement where Annie's pages went and hands the pages back each time they spot one. The cellar beast defeated and reads the spells they needed that'll turn the evil spirits mortal. But Ash's severed hand stabs her and stops the plan before she's finished with the magic portal. The evils all fall through, but Ash is sucked in too with his chainsaw and his oldsmobile. The poor guy never wins. Now he just screams and spins as time and space get crazy and unreal. Real. And when he lands, he finds he's in medieval times. To live the film again becomes his fate. Cause the knights all need him to fight the book's old demons. He screams, no, but it's too late. So we leave Ash there, a hero in despair. The music rises and the credits fade. And though there's one more sequel, this film has no equal. It's the greatest movie ever made.